talking of picking winners. <laughs> it's a debate that is the country talking. A Gold Coast man calling for a bikini bottom ban. Community worker Ian Grace writing a letter to the local mayor demanding people cover up when they're away from the beach. And Ian joins us live now from the Gold Coast. Ian, good morning. You've been called a brave man for speaking out about this. What is it that you've got against those bikini bottoms? Hi, guys. Yeah, I've been called a few things, but... Um, yeah. I, um, this is actually triggered by a couple of family events. See, I've, I've been running a charity for 14 years now for kids 11 to 17, and so we're very, I guess, aware and protective of looking after our, our younger people. And we're up to family events recently, and there were bear bums everywhere and nowhere near the beach. And, uh, you know, kids and families there, and I thought, this is enough. So I pulled an old bulletin article out of my to-do inbox and replied to it, and I expected a few lines, bumped into the journalist the next day, and uh, I thought that'd be it. Next second, no, I'm all up there in all my glory and uh, it's gone countrywide, so I would never have expected this in a million years. So <laughs> it's interesting. I've had a huge amount of support, but there are a few ferals that have found ways to get a messenger note to me or whatever, which is not pleasant. I mean, opinions mm. differ, but that's OK. Respect Give us an idea, opinion. Ian, if you can, on what some of the ferals have said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I won't say one of the words because I didn't know if that one was male or female because the obscenity didn't say. Um, and others telling me to go back to wherever I came from, so it uh, looks like back to Brizzy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> just an hour up the road. But, but no, that, you know, these things happen. But um, at the end of the day, difference of opinion, that's what they are. And uh, we're very aware of working with young people and, you know, looking after them, I guess. Is it not possible to just look away? Well, it's, I think the issue has become, look, it's not going to happen on the beach, but just off the beach. And I've been asked this question many times now as well, you know, what about budgie smugglers? And uh, so, well, yeah, same thing. You know, if, if guys walk off the beach, if girls walk off the beach, cover up your swimwear. You know, on the beach, fine, but off the beach. And I've had so many people that said to me, Ian, I was on the public bus and three ladies got in with their bare bums on the bus. Probably no one would want to sit in those seats afterwards. <laughs> and others talking about walking around sh shopping centres miles away from the beach with bare bums in their coffee shops, uh, at public spool pools where there's lots of kids. And even a journalist talking about it being a white water world and having you know, bare bums in front of them saying, nah, felt uncomfortable, didn't need it. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you're in Melbourne and you're walking around with a bare bum, that'd be a different story. But this is the Goldie. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Look, I'm not saying that all the guys aren't enjoying the view, but I'm just questioning. <laughs> look, look when, you, when, you, when you're off the beach, you know, just cover up. Do you know, know but, I, but Ian, it might be that, you know, you, you reach a certain age and, and this sort of thing doesn't, doesn't really appeal to you anymore. Uh, is it just oh, moving with the times oh, a little? On. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not that what old. What are you saying, Carlos? Yeah, it is. <laughs> It is too, but look, as I said, we've been working with kids 11 to 17 for, you know, the last 14 years, and, and it's great to see the young ladies and, and, and guys, you know, de develop healthier relationships without any sort of sexual overtones, and the program builds their self-esteem, their confidence, we mm. help them to grow themselves, it increases their further education, and it helps them to respect themselves, respect others, and do things that people will respect them for, and I don't think showing their bare bums would actually fit in that model, so we're probably... Maybe I'm a bit of a fuddy-duddy, overprotective, but mm. we're just very much aware of that. And just one quick thing on uh, one of the people I was talking to, well, Jono actually, and talking about having a 14-year-old daughter and the 14-year-old friends coming around to their pool. And the dad's sort of saying, I don't really need to see the, all those 14-year-old bums. You know? So again, you've got the other thing is, how low will that you know, range go? 14, 13, 12? Who knows? Yep, look, it's, uh, it's the debate that's dividing the nation mm -hmm. this morning. Um, thank you so much for coming on our show and we are after all of your feedback at home on this story and we'll get to that a little bit later in the show. Thank you, mate. Well, the future of a Gold Coast beach staple is up in the air with a controversial campaign hoping to bar the G-string bikini from public beaches. Let's go live to Mia Glover on the Gold Coast with this important news. Mia, the move is causing an uproar. Oh, it is, Brookie. Good morning to you. We know here on the Gold Coast when the sun's out, the buns are certainly out. And I can tell you what, when you move here to the Gold Coast, you almost get a bikini as your uniform to wear here each and every day. But no, there are calls this morning for the skimpy, itsy, bitsy, teeny, weeny, g-string bikini 
to be banned, in particular from one community member, Ian Grace. He is the head of a charity here on the Goldie. He says he doesn't want to see them at all around the Gold Coast streets. He says they're offensive to young families. He doesn't want kids seeing those buns out. He wants the buns put away. So basically what he's wanting is if I put on my G-banger on the sand and then I go up and grab a coffee or a cake or some fish and chips on the Esplanade, he wants me to cover up as I'm grabbing food. So here he is, here's what he had to say. If all of a sudden guys started walking around and they bared their bums the same way, we'd be lambasted, castigated, all those big words. Don't do that, but then again, blokes wouldn't do it. We just don't think about that. Why would I want to stick a thong up there and show my bare bum to everyone? Going down a path of trying to ban that, uh, I think the reaction will go, well, you'll get some more of it. Not doing it, not banning it. Ah, heaven to Betsy, hey? Tom Tate, though, he's fighting the good fight, the mayor, defending those who want to wear the skimpy bikinis. But, Brookie, I don't know about you, but I'd like to see some more muscly men here on the Goldie mm, wear those g strings. Absolutely. You know, there is only one something one to way. look at and admire. There's only one way to find out if they are going to be lambasted, castigated, <laughs> and that is to chuck them in a thong. Put it to the test, Mia. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. It's a great image, isn't it? Uh, a bloke on a beach being lambasted. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, tasty. In a G-string. <laughs> Just whack some mint jelly on this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Very cheeky. Yum. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?